more than 3,600 people have signed an online petition calling on the UK government to unfreeze state pension payments for nearly half a million retirees living abroad in a country that does not have a reciprocal agreement with Great Britain. Petition creator Robert Lloyd Crutchlow proposes that expats should have their state pension increased to the current payment rates and receive the annual uprating every April. He explained, We believe the need for reciprocal social security agreements has long passed as other countries already pay their pensioners in the UK annual increases. We believe the freezing of UK citizens' pensions is discriminatory, unjust and immoral. People living overseas in retirement only receive an increase in line with the annual operating through the triple lock policy where there is a legal requirement to do so. An example of this is where there is a reciprocal agreement between the UK and the country of residence. The latest figures from the Department for Work and Pensions DWP, show that in March 2022, there were around 480,000 people living overseas receiving state pension payments who do not get the annual link raise, some 84%, 403,200, of those live in Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. During a recent House of Lords debate on the 75th anniversary of the Windrush generation in July, Lord Davis of Brixton, raised the issue, pointing out the injustice of frozen state pensions. He explained how the policy is the arbitrary winners and losers approach to making increases in UK state pensions for those who choose to retire abroad. Lord Davis continued, Recipients in some countries have increases each year in line with those granted to pensioners in the UK, but those in other countries, totaling half a million, do not, their pensions are frozen at the date they moved abroad and in real terms their state pension falls each year. The impact is substantial. Simplifying somewhat, the basic state pension is currently £156 a week but over half of those with a frozen pension are receiving £65 a week or less. That is lost income each year of £5,000 or more. Referring specifically to those with a Windrush heritage he explained that British pensioners in all but two Caribbean countries have frozen state pensions. He said, those in Barbados and Jamaica are the lucky ones, but there are 300 people with frozen pensions in Antigua and Barbuda, 1,300 in Trinidad and Tobago, 900 in Grenada, 800 in St. Lucia, and hundreds more spread across other Caribbean islands. The injustice of the policy is clear. But the government and past governments have hidden behind the need for so-called reciprocal agreement, we pay increases to our pensioners in countries only if it pays increases to its pensioners in the UK. Lord Davis also highlighted that for many years successive governments have consistently refused to negotiate any more such agreements, leading to the entirely arbitrary distinctions we see today. He concluded, members of the Windrush generation were invited to live and work in the UK to help run Britain, and they devoted their working lives to this country. It is manifestly wrong to punish them so severely simply because they have returned to their countries of birth for retirement. DWP estimated costs of operating the state pension in frozen rate countries, 2023-24, million pounds 2024-25, million pounds 2025-26, million pounds 2026-27, million pounds 2027-28. 930 million pounds the total cost between now and 2028 would be nearly 4 pounds 6 billion the give 500,000 UK overseas state pensioners with frozen pensions parity petition is hosted on the petitions parliament website here at 10,000 signatures of support the UK government will respond to the proposal
state pension payment rates from April 2024 The calculations show the current annual rates for the full new and full basic state pensions. The state pension is usually paid every four weeks with 13 payments made throughout the year. How much someone receives depends on the number of years worth of national insurance contributions, around 35 is needed for the full new state pension, but this may be more if you were contracted out, find out more here. Current annual full new state pension, £10,600 weekly. £203.85 every four-week pay period, £815. 48.5% uprating April 2024, £11,502, up £902, weekly, £221.20 every four-week pay period, £884. A to get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at recordmoney underscore for regular updates throughout the day. Current annual full basic state pension, £8,122 weekly, £156.20 every four-week pay period, £624. 88.5% uprating April 2024. 8,814 pounds, up 692 pounds, weekly, 169 pounds and 50 pence every four week pay period, 678 pounds. Oh oh full details on additional state pension, increments and invalidity allowance can be found on Gov. UK here. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.